All right, so the first area I wanna cover is the mindset. Uh, again, super important with anything in life, but specifically with your social skills and being more friendly and creating a great network of people in your life, the way to create the right main mindset and create the right self-image is to begin visualizing how situations, how interactions are gonna go beforehand. So begin to visualize when you step into a place, what kind of things are gonna happen to you? Are people gonna be super friendly when you say hello? Are people gonna come up to you? Um, usually, what typically what happens when people have kind of a, a weird vibe or when we are you know, feeling a little bit shy in the beginning is because we're visualizing rejection. We're visualizing uh, things that are gonna go wrong. Um, we're basically have so much social anxiety because of two things. Either we, we want a validation, we want approval, but also because we anticipate that things are gonna go wrong. And that's probably because maybe in the past they've gone wrong. So I've gone through the process where, you know, I was very unsuccessful socially. I would get rejected a lot and that sort of thing. But it was a process to begin to reprogram my brain to begin to visualize positive things happening, such as being approached, such as um, meeting great people that were super friendly with me and connecting with them, being invited to cool things. Whatever it is that you want to do or get out of this whole social thing, begin to visualize that that happens to you at all the places you go to, whether it's that you work, um, you know, at a, sorry, and maybe you work at a bank and the people that you're interacting with, they are always, you know, very social with you, with you, friendly and so on. And this kind of person always invites you here or you connect with them. When you say this, they always say that. Again, visualize exactly what you're saying, what you're doing, as well as what they're, how they're reacting, or even how they're acting with you before you even say anything. They might even approach you. Again, this is all very possible. It all has to do with your mindset and with your vibe that you're projecting based on these images that you are uh, having in your head. So the next thing is, uh, again, be specific with the places that you're visualizing. You're visualizing. Uh, if you work from home like I do, um, I work at a, maybe some kind of a coffee shop. I visualize that people are super friendly there and they're coming up to me. And whenever I say hello, they're super friendly and happy to see me. And every joke that I throw, they're laughing you know, like crazy and they're asking for my information to connect and hang out later. Those are the kind of things that I visualize um, before I even go to a venue. Um, or I visualize um, and tell myself, again, self-talk, uh, that, you know, I'm a celebrity everywhere I go and that sort of thing. And so that way, um, now I have that energy as well as even today when, I, when I'm when i recording this video, uh, I'm in Spain right now, uh, I had someone say, oh, you look like so-and-so, um, like a tennis player or something here in Spain. But again, whatever you, you have in your head is what's going to happen outside, uh, bottom line. even It goes beyond even body language and everything. Uh, I've, I've made a course on body language, which is super helpful, but even beyond that, the mindset uh, is what you're projecting to other people and will um, you will get what you put out, basically. Uh, the other thing is, whenever you're visualizing, whatever your biggest fears are, whoever intimidates you the most out of people interacting with them, begin to visualize them being super friendly or you know uh, chasing after you to get your attention and that sort of thing to begin to dissipate that fear and that anxiety. So for example, if certain kind of people, like very attractive people, you know, kind of make you nervous, then you want to begin to visualize those kind of people being um, super friendly with you or whatever, or maybe it is very high level people, maybe it's executives, um, whoever it is that intimidates you maybe, or situations, even groups, maybe it's groups that intimidate you, begin to visualize those situations uh, because the mind can't tell the difference between what's reality and what you're imagining. In fact, from a scientific point of view, uh, all the areas in your brain, in fact, athletes use visualization to practice their skills because all the areas in, uh, of the brain that activate when you do a certain activity or certain skill activate the same way or in the same areas of your brain as when you're visualizing. Um, it's the same between a, an actual activity that you're doing in reality as opposed to just visualizing it. So keep that in mind. Um, and what else? Um, yeah, and so again, visualize the people, um, the specific people, the specific venues, and visualize them, um, you know, just being super friendly and very approachable to you and so on and so on. So that's what you wanna start with. 
and that's how you make it into um, who you are, into creating that kind of a reality everywhere you go and that kind of energy. Uh, project the right body language as well because of the fact that you are telling yourself that you're awesome, you're great, and you're super friendly, and you're, you love talking to everyone, and these sort of things. So that is what you want to um, definitely visualize. Uh, other than that, um, visualize how you're acting. The more you visualize it, the more it becomes a habit in actuality, in your, in your real, in reality, basically. So that's how you, you make it something that you are, not something that you do. Because people can tell when you're doing it as a technique or trying to be social as opposed to something that you are. And so the, the way to make it who you are, again, is visualization and managing your self-talk and creating uh, positive self-talk around being social. 